Good afternoon you guys, today I'm finally getting around to sorting out Bluebell's food and treats. Now I have been going on about making this video for a little while now and today is finally the day where I'm getting around to filming it and sorting out Bluebell's food and treats. So this is just going to be a quick little video for you guys. I'm trying to get back into the routine of filming hamster videos and I've got her some new food and stuff. So I did actually go to Pep's at home a couple of weeks ago and I picked Bluebell up some food and treats as well as some substrates. So if you guys want to see that vlog I'll have it linked on screen now and I'll also have it linked in the description for you to go ahead and check it out. It was quite a fun vlog and I've had a lot of good feedback from that video. So in this drawer is where I keep Bluebell's food and treats and if you're wondering what all of this stuff is I have an online small animal pet supply store called Tiny Paws and Co. I'll have a link in the description and you can find my store on Etsy. If you're wondering where these jars are from because I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me in the comments they are from Ikea and I can't remember how much they were but they weren't expensive they were probably just a few pounds each and i have loads of these big jars um but i store beads and stuff in them and i only have four big ones for food i have two of these ones which are like half the size and then i have six of these teeny tiny ones i'm gonna go ahead and talk you through what I have in each jar at the moment and um, a lot of them are going to be emptied and cleaned out and then refilled with the same or something a little bit different or similar so in here we have freeze dried chicken and there's the tiniest amount left so I'm going to tip this into Bluebell's food dish and she can snack on this when she's awake and I'm going to refill it with some freeze dried chicken so I'm actually going to grab one of these bags of freeze dried chicken this is stock for my shop these say eau de care but there's obviously apple in there so I need to change the label um, and then we've just got apple in here too because when I emptied it I couldn't fit it all in one jar and this is one of Bluebell's favourite treats she loves it and in here I have um, pumpkin seeds and pumpkin pieces Bluebell absolutely loves pumpkin seeds it's her favourite treat and um, she really loves dried pumpkin as well so whenever I give her a treat I usually go for a piece of apple or something from here and in this jar I have I think it's marigold and I sell a mix of dried flowers on my website I have a flower and forage box so I just grabbed a little bit of the marigold um I think this was when I done her autumn cake I've got this little allen key uh which is for her water bottle holder in her cage and then I've just got this treat here which I'll probably pop in her cage and she'll really enjoy this this was like a like a rice puff type thing in here we have some dandelion root here we've got a jar of whimsies and I'm gonna chuck all of these away because I've been filling up this jar for a couple of years now and I don't know how old these are and it's got the extra 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 small and um, whimsies chews which they actually discontinued and I remember getting these from a pet store in Kent like back in 2018 or something like that and I know whimsies do have a long sell by date but I, I'm not too sure how long these have been in here for so it's a little bit of a waste I know but that's why I want to start writing the dates on the thing here we've got this uh forage mix which I'm also going to throw out because I've had this for a little while too and I did actually she used a lot of this I know this is still kind of full but the bag that it was in it was quite a big bag quite a nice mix um and bluebell really likes it it's got like pea flakes and stuff in there but I've got um something to replace that with which bluebell likes a lot better and then in here we've got her main food which I'm going to be tipping out because I've got her nice fresh bag and this is the Erin's Ark pet food um it's the hamster dwarf mix and I've got this really cute bonnie spoon and I actually sell this spoon in here we've just got some millet spray I sell millet on my Etsy store I think this jar of millet spray is absolutely fine I just need to start giving her some more pieces so we've got red and yellow uh, millet spray mixed in here and then in this last jar we've got science selective pellets um these are old and i've actually got a new pack so i am gonna go ahead and um, chuck these out but yeah the science selective pellets are really good um i've been using them for years they used to be little hearts but a few years ago they just changed them to these um pellets and i don't recommend feeding um these pellets on its own because it's a bit boring i mean you wouldn't want to eat rice for your entire life but i do like giving her a few pieces with her muesli food mix so that is this mix this is known as like a muesli mix it's got a mixture of different seeds and grains and stuff like that in um and these are pellets so it's got like 
all the nutritional bits that she would need but in um, pellet form if that makes sense so it's nice to combine the two and of course Bluebell has fresh fruits and veggies also so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is show you guys what new food and treats I've got to um, fill up the jars with I'm gonna quickly sit down and go through everything that I have so I'm gonna start off with the bits that I picked up in Pets at Home for Bluebell so the first thing is this Woodlands parsley and celery forage I always like to have a forage in one of the jars so that I can sprinkle it around Bluebell's cake and it gives her something to forage for and that provides some natural enrichment for her um, and I usually do that with her food as well I tend to scatter feed her so she can forage around I picked up these two whimsies alligators or crocodile I never remember what they're called and then I picked her up some more of the NutriCare healthy bites I've been using these for years and I went to Bets at Home to pick up a pack of these and I was thinking oh my god I can't find them they've discontinued them where is this treat and then I realized they had changed the packaging and I don't really like it I prefer the green packaging before and it stands out more um but yeah so this is the new packaging and it is still resealable like the old packaging was but I put my treats into jars anyway so they're basically like little biscuits almost and then inside is like a apple paste filling a bunch of vitamins and stuff in there and it's got a new and improved formula with coconut oil and um, Bluebell really likes it. That was everything I got from Pets at Home. I've had this bag of food for a little while. I probably got this off Amazon. So this is just a brand new bag of the Science Selective pellets. And um, yeah, I love the packaging for this. And the hamster is so cute. And then the last thing is this wolf hamster mix. And this is the main food I feed Bluebell. This is what she's currently on. And I thought I would just get her a new bag. Um, so this is by Erin's Ark. You might recognise her if you guys are familiar with pet channels on YouTube. And um, here's Bluebell for you guys. She looks a bit squished right now because she's currently burrowing. I've just called her so she might come out. Maybe some of you haven't met Bluebell before but yep yeah, this is my Russian dwarf hamster. She's gone back in her house now and um, some of these things in her cage like this garland here and also that chew hanging up there. You can find them over on my Etsy store. finished filling up all the jars I did clean them before I filled them up again I just didn't film that process and I'm really 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 happy with the selection of food and treats we have here they're all really nice and natural and healthy and um, for the past couple of years I have been feeding my hamsters on more natural healthy treats rather than the bright and colorful ones I'm just going to quickly go through them all and sort of talk a little bit about um, how frequently I would feed these kind of things so starting off with the big jar here we've got some red and yellow millet spray this is something I can just pop in her cage and then we've got Erin's Ark um, dwarf hamster mix and this is something I'll give her every second day and then I'll sprinkle in some of the science selective pellets and these actually look different to the last batch that I had so it seems like they've changed either the formula or just like how the product looks again and then over here we have the uh, woodlands parsley and celery forage which just looks like this and I would sprinkle a little bit of this into her food dish or just sprinkle it around her cage so over here in these two medium jars we have um, some whimsies chews and a whimsy chew is something I would probably give to bluebell maybe like once a month and whimsies are really good to keep your hamsters teeth at a suitable level so over here we've just got the dandelion roots also really good for your hamsters teeth and um, it's a great board and break on to the small smaller jars so first of all we have freeze dried chicken it's a really good source of protein and hamsters do need protein in their diet and a lot of the time when you give them a food mix um, it doesn't necessarily have the best amount of protein in there so when you're looking for a food mix you need to find one that has a good protein amount um, but I always like to top it up with freeze dried chicken you can also feed insects like millworms and crickets uh, but I kind of prefer 
to feed chicken <laughs> so um yeah so this is just freeze-dried chicken and depending on your hamster's age they will require um different amounts of protein so in here we have the NutriCare treats and this is something i'm probably going to give to bluebell like maybe once or twice a week and then over here we have um golden linsey i've been raving about these for years these are super good and it helps promote healthy skin and fur i actually sell packs of these on my etsy store and these are great to sprinkle into your pet's food here i've just got some sesame seeds i also sell these on my etsy store and this is what they look like so just like the linseeds they're really nice to add into your hamster's food dish or just scatter around the cage so these are things that i uh, give to her by hand so we've got uh pumpkin pieces and pumpkin seeds just here and then in here we've just got some dried apple pieces <laughs> did actually write the the dates on the bottom of each tree so it feels so good to have finally sorted through bluebells food and treats because this has been on my to-do list since january and we're now towards the end of february so it's taken me a little while to do this and as well i've wanted to film it for you guys but i've been so busy with my shop and everything bluebells awake she's munching on um some food <laughs> that i sprinkled in her cage so she's just found one of the science selected pellets because the jar was a bit full so i had to sprinkle some in her cage so she's just foraging for some food and i sprinkled some other bits and bobs in there for her as well so let me know what you think of bluebell's food and treat collection also let me know in a comment what other hamster videos you would like me to do don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want to see more of bluebell and also news with my business then definitely go ahead and follow me over on instagram i'll have my personal and my hamster slash business instagram linked in the description so bye for now guys and i'll I'll see you in my next video.